Oh, my time? You think that's funny? Can She's a co-worker. Can I finish? Please, please finish. I saw that she could be a great competitor, okay? I thought I could motivate her like I've motivated you. I, I think a, a lot of your life, I push you. I'm not saying that I made you the champion that you are. You've done that on your own, but I like to think I had some part in it, okay? Now, now you're one of the all-time greats. But hey, how about, how about the, the tough love, the advice, everything that we've done together? No, it's real. And I, I don't mean any bad by it. I mean, I just love you and want the best for you, but I was trying to expand the brand. Ric Flair, the man behind the Raw Women's Championship title. That's what I wanted to do. You know, I want the women to be the biggest part of the market. That's it. And I'm sorry, but if you think that I have, to have the view of the audacity to think that I'm doing anything to trash the name, all I want our name to be is what it is right now, household. Okay. Well, I don't see it that way. You come here saying you want to be my dad. You come here saying that you want to support the women. You come here saying that you're my biggest cheerleader, my biggest fan, but on my time, you're trying to take the spotlight. Doing this, this, you think it's funny? No, when I'm in the ring, it's my time. It's my time to prove that I'm not Ric Flair's daughter, that I am Charlotte Flair. No, I think you still want to be the nature boy, even on your daughter's time. So go home. I, wait. I am thankful for the doors that you have opened. I am thankful for everything that you have given me. But let me try to be Charlotte Flair. I love you, Dad. That's all it is. I love you. Huge week of action right here on USA throughout WWE. And uh, it's uh, been some disturbing points tonight, especially what we saw before the break with Charlotte Flair and Ric Flair. But I do want to take you back to one particularly disturbing moment earlier this evening with Randy Orton. Randy Orton saying that he can't focus on the WWE title because he's still distracted. You could see Randy was choking on something. This is what he was reacting to. This was from earlier in the night, saying that he's been distracted, not by The Fiend, but by Alexa Bliss. <laughs> and then this. Why or how that mysterious substance that, that was beyond us. We're going to try and uh, refocus here on what's happening here live on Monday Night Raw. Tag team action in the women's ranks. Naomi and Lana up against Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke. And, uh, we saw the women's tag team champions in action earlier this evening, defeating the Raw women's champion Asuka and Charlotte Flair, Byron, despite everything that's happening with Charlotte Flair. I'm sure uh, Naomi and Lana kept close tabs. Oh! oh. Uh, Nia Jackson, and Shayna Baszler, no one in the back of their mind. They're hold on, hold on, Lana into the cover and a kick out by Dana Brooke. Hanging in the back of their minds. As speaking of which, women's tag team champions Lana and Naomi on. cover kick out are in line for a future tag Ooh. team title opportunity. They're winning a triple threat tag team match a number of weeks ago here on Raw. Tag mate, in comes Mandy Rose and Joe Rosenbrook. They've been looking good lately. Oh, they've been looking fantastic lately. Ooh. From the synchronicity to their ability to right knees right. like that. Cover, kick out by Lana. These ladies have become quite the formidable team, and I think they will be competing for gold sooner than later, Tom. Well, there's plenty of teams that uh, Nia Jackson, Shayna Baszler have made enemies of. I talked about it on NXT, Raquel Gonzalez. It's pretty and much Dakota been all Dye. the teams, Tom. Let's be really honest here. <laughs> have a future tag team title opportunity as well. Oh, and a back elbow. But credit to the champs knocking off SmackDown Women's Champion Sasha Banks last night, as well as the Women's Royal Rumble match winner Bianca Belair. And that just continues to build the confidence oh. of Jackson Baszler. As and look at Lana. Lana trying oh. to reach out to Naomi. Second attempt, almost there. Tag made, in comes Naomi. Oh, oh and Lana 
Lana able to take out Dana Brooke. Great teamwork from Naomi and Lana. Cover. Center of the ring. Naomi and Lana get the win. Who are your winners? Lana and Naomi. Well, this is the kind of confidence building win that Lana and Naomi needed, knowing that they have a future tag team title opportunity on the horizon against Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. Well, they are going to have their work cut out for them. Great victory for Naomi and Lana here on Monday Night Raw. Well, still to come tonight, the almighty Bobby Lashley you can see warming up because if he can defeat Braun Strowman, he will keep Strowman out of his WWE title opportunity next week against the new champion, The Miz. It is a massive collision. Strowman and Lashley still to come tonight. the Elimination Chamber match last night. AJ Styles accompanied by his own personal colossus, Omos. Yeah, Tom, we talked about a massive collision later tonight. Well, now we're looking at a massive companion in Omos. Omos had quite the effect on the chamber itself last night. He ripped open the chamber door. It was incredible what Omos did last night. AJ Styles takes on the dazzling Ricochet. Next, live on Raw. No one is born hating another person because of the color of his skin or his background or his religion. People must learn to hate. And if they can learn to hate, they can be taught to love. For love comes more naturally to the human heart than its opposite. Stronger Together is brought to you by Progressive. Get even more savings when you bundle your boat, RV, or motorcycle with Progressive. The two-time WWE champion, AJ Styles, with his own personal colossus, Omos, in his corner. You can never discount how Omos changes the complexion of any match Styles is involved in. He's got quite a large insurance policy in case something goes wrong. Oh! It almost makes me even more phenomenal. <laughs> Joe, AJ Styles, and Omos have been a hell of a tandem. And it's worked out very, very well for AJ Styles. You know, it's easy to be as confident as he is. You have a man besides Omos standing in her court and making sure that you can be that confident. Omos had quite the effect on the Elimination Chamber match last night. More on that in a moment. is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, weighing in at 207 pounds, Ricochet! Ricochet sees the magnitude of this opportunity against a man like AJ Styles. Last night on the Elimination Chamber kickoff show, Ricochet competed in a fatal four-way match attempting to earn a United States title opportunity. There's uh, some residual frustration for Ricochet, unable to capitalize on that opportunity last night, but you got to keep marching forward, and the opportunity is at hand here for Ricochet if he can find a way to defeat AJ Styles. A familiar foes here in Styles and Ricochet, but so you see Omos there. Last night, he ripped the pod that AJ Styles was in open oh. from the outside. It allowed AJ Styles to circumvent his own pod entrance and get in and try and score eliminations faster. But look at Ricochet. And here's the scary part. He ripped through that pod like a hot knife through butter. I mean, it was no effort for him whatsoever, Tom. And AJ Styles was a great plan. Whoa! Came down to the final two in the Elimination Chamber match, ultimately falling to then the WWE Champion Drew McIntyre. Cover, and you can feel the urgency from Ricochet. Oh, and Ricochet executing quite the plan right now. I touched on the frustration. Ricochet's got to be feeling the same.